Hi, Sophie here, and welcome to Foo Studio, the fantastic place where you can make anything. Today, we're going to build a chomping alligator game for our friends to play. You'll need to have finished chapter 2 of the Foo's first though, the one with construction Foo, since you'll need to know how to use the loop, hide, and wait coding commands. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is build the alligator itself. I'm going to use these light green blocks since it's the closest to the colour of real alligators and green is my favourite colour. <laughs> of course, you can use any colour you want. Let's start by building out his mouth with plenty of space for ninja food to jump around in there. We can give him an eye and now let's put the star inside his mouth. There! When I finished, the object of the game would be to have players jump inside the alligator's mouth and avoid the teeth to grab the star. Neat, yeah? So let's build out the body. We'll give him some feet so he doesn't look like he's just floating in air. Hey, that looks rather good. Now to give him some teeth by using these spikes right here. When you click on an item, you can rotate, resize, copy or delete it. So I'm going to rotate some spikes and move them up and copy them to make this top row of teeth. Hmm, orange teeth. Looks like someone needs a new toothbrush. <laughs> Let's put a spike on his nose and some spikes on his back to make him a fearsome alligator. Oops, and done. We've got our alligator. Now, at the moment, Ninja Fu can't get to the star without getting hurt along the way, yeah? So we need to make the teeth do something more than just hurt little Ninja Fu. Click on the teeth. At the bottom of the screen, you can see that right now the teeth don't do anything when you press play. If you've finished up chapter 4, you know that spikes like these take a heart away from the player, and that's what we want to keep. But we want the teeth to also hide and then come back, so our friends playing as Ninja Fu have to figure out when to jump through the teeth to get to the star without getting hurt. To do that, to have the teeth hide and come back over and over and over again, we need a loop. When you have a loop with an infinity sign, that's a little sideways figure 8 there, it means that the loop will continue until the end of the level. Now we can add the hide command right here. You'll see that this is going to make the teeth hide. Hmm, that's too easy now. We need the teeth to come back. To do that, click on the teeth again. We can add another hide command in the loop, but this time we change the parameter. Every command has parameters. Here, we want the parameter changed from hide to show. <laughs> Let's test it. Now the teeth hide and come back and hide and come back, this is better than before, but it's far too fast. Let's slow it down a bit. We can do that with the wait command. We'll just add it here. And here. And that should do it. The teeth are going to hide and wait and show and wait and repeat until Ninja Fu either reaches the star or runs out of hearts, whichever comes first. And when we hit play, we can see the teeth hide and wait and show, and wait, and they do it over and over again. So we've made a game where players have to jump in the mouth and, oh, <laughs> avoid the teeth. When you play it, I'm sure you'll do better than I just did. <laughs> so, that's how you make a chopping alligator in Foo Studio. If you want to play or remix this level, you can use this code in Foo Studio. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. See you later. Alligators. <laughs>